Hello and welcome to vlog number 32. This week I'm going to talk about a subject that was requested by YouTube user Bickle Seagrave Trailer Guy, but which I've been wanting to talk about for some time, and that is personality changes in Parkinson's disease and deep brain stimulation. Parkinson's is perceived to be purely a movement disorder. Many people think that it is just a tremor, when in reality it is so much more than that. People with Parkinson's are susceptible to any psychiatric condition seen in the general population. Some disorders, though, may be directly due to the condition itself, such as anxiety and depression. Some disorders are related to prescription medication for Parkinson's. Dopamine agonists are known to cause impulsive and obsessive behaviour, and hallucinations are fairly common in those who take dopaminergic agents. Surgical procedures such as deep brain stimulation are becoming more common in the attempt to control the symptoms of PD and these can also have an impact on behaviour and personality. Dopamine agonists have a long history of causing behavioural problems as a side effect of the drugs such as hypersexuality, compulsive gambling and compulsive shopping and associated deceptive behaviour employed by those affected to cover up these obsessive compulsive behaviours. Indeed, there are many instances of patients who have ended up on the wrong side of the law because of the side effects of these drugs. And it took a while for it to be recognised as a side effect. My neurologist certainly warned both myself and my wife to be on the lookout for any changes in behaviour when he prescribed them to me. Behaviour and personality changes were certainly on my wife's mind when my neurologist recommended deep brain stimulation surgery for me and she told him that she wouldn't want me to have any treatment that would affect the person that I am. At this point, I think that my neurologist should have told my wife that there was a possibility of personality or behaviour changes, but he remained silent on the matter. When my DBS was switched on two days after my operation, my behaviour was modified. Because of my elation at such successful treatment and my tremor, it was very difficult for my wife. I was certainly behaving out of character, but then that was only to be expected. These changes weren't obvious to me. I felt absolutely fantastic and couldn't see why my wife was so concerned about me. Luckily my DBS programmer spotted it and made adjustments to my neurostimulator. I have subsequently experienced behaviour changes caused by overstimulation, but I recognise those symptoms. I can hear myself getting a bit loud and saying things that I wouldn't normally say, and made adjustments to my stimulation before it became a problem. So, PD medications and surgical interventions can have these side effects. But what about changes in personality and behaviour as a consequence of disease progression? Depression, anxiety, cognitive changes and psychosis are all common in people with Parkinson's, with in excess of 50% of patients experiencing psychiatric illness at some stage of the disease. Mood disorders such as depression are prevalent in Parkinson's and may be a reaction to loss of function, but changes in the brain chemistry are also implicated in the development of mood symptoms. Anxiety disorders such as general anxiety, social phobia, obsessive compulsive disorder and panic attacks are common in Parkinson's and are often seen in conjunction with depression. Anxiety disorders may occur with on-off fluctuations caused by medications wearing off or waiting for medications to take effect. There is evidence that these disorders are also linked to the underlying neurobiology of PD. Obsessive compulsive disorder has been found to correlate with severity of left and right sided motor symptoms. The severity of left sided motor symptoms was found to correlate with increased over conscientiousness, repetition, disturbing thoughts and cleanliness obsessions, while the severity of right sided symptoms only correlated with increased concern relating to orderliness and routine. Hallucinations and psychosis in PD have been found to increase substantially with the use of levodopa treatment for motor symptoms. So medication related again, although a couple of major studies did not find a link between medication and hallucinations. A large study of Parkinson's patients found that advanced age, disease progression, cognitive impairment and depression were associated with an increased risk hallucinations. Your mileage may vary. Cognitive impairment and dementia are both fairly common in PD, 
although dementia and PD differ significantly from that seen in Alzheimer's disease. Executive function and motivation is more affected in PD patients. Even where cognitive impairment is not a precursor to dementia, changes in the ability to plan and execute tasks can be extremely disabling to the person with Parkinson's and extremely frustrating to those around them. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.